Hi there lovelies and welcome back to the channel. I have something that has been like a hot minute, but I have a huge Sephora haul for you guys. Yes, I said huge. I spent some dough the other day over at Disney Springs and I just needed to stock up on either things that I are holy grail products to me or I wanted to try some new things because it has been a bit since I just decided to, you know, test out some new products. Right in here are all the good goods. I have so freaking much. I have not gone through any of this except for one item and I might be wearing it right now and I'll definitely tell you what that is, but I just, I couldn't hold out. I had to like test it out. I'm just going to do a complete haul of everything that I got and I'll kind of give you a rundown on like maybe why I wanted to try it or whatever, or maybe like comparisons to other brands, but let's find out what's inside here. Okay, so first of all, why I decided all of a sudden right now to just like buy a shit ton was because they do this thing at Disney Springs. If you are a cast member, a team member, and you have a valid theme park ID, then they do this thing where we get a special discount for only like a few days at the store. Normally I don't buy this much stuff, but there honestly is some things in here that I already love that I've already shared with you guys. And there's lots of new things. So let me talk to you about the first one that I had to open up. I had a photo shoot super early this morning. It's all fun like Halloween things. So like stay tuned to my Instagram because everything is going to be over there. Again, it's in the place love and loyalty. I wanted to work with this new eyeshadow palette for it because I mean, I mean, like look, it's just beautiful. So it is from Pat McGrath Labs. And honestly, I've never owned anything from this brand. And so first of all, look at this packaging. The packaging is so beautiful and it's so, so fun. It comes off with this like little shoestring thing right there. The palette is now called the Divine Rose Palette. And I believe that it is a limited edition. So it, you take it out just like that. It has what the um, eyeshadow colors are called here in the bottom. But this case, like she is a sturdy, like it's actually like, it's got some weight to it y'all. But this is the casing. It looks very sleek. And when you open it, wait for it. Oh my gosh. Like look at how stunning, stunning these colors are. So today I actually am wearing two different shades from this palette. I actually have the gray, like the smokiness is um, colors from MAC, but I'm wearing this color right here. And then I have a little bit of this on. Oh, and I forgot. I actually have on just a little bit of this one right here. It's going to be hard. My lighting's going to glare it out. But that little glitter that I have on the top, I just kind of like dab that on there. So that's just kind of like a silver glitter. But the other color is called Love Lace. So that's like perfect. That was like the iridescent shimmer one that's more on the darker side. I just have a little bit of that like right there in the crease. And then this portion, this color right there, which is called Rose Dusk. Like these are gorgeous. That is like the main portion of my lid. We have the Tatcha. This is the Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. I love me some Tatcha. I rave about their Tatcha, the Putty Primer, the Silk Canvas. I absolutely love it. I think it is the best primer that is out there the best it is worth the $50 because it lasts forever and it just he's digging for China and I just wanted to try this because the girl was saying that she's heard so many good things about this face wash it also has hyaluronic acid in it which we all know is great to help with the anti-aging process but let's give it a smell it is so refreshing. It's very floral, yet citrusy. It smells amazing. Next up, we have some Charlotte Tilbury. There's lots of her in here, so get ready. We have the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Did I need to buy a new setting spray? 
Nope. The packaging is super, super sleek. And even the girl at Sephora, when I was doing my, so basically in-store Sephora shopping, I don't know if they're all like this, but here in Orlando, you have like a personal shopper. So you have a line outside and it's like half staff going in. And basically when one um, worker gets available, they take you in, there's like, what do you want? What do you want to try? And you don't touch anything. You can't sample stuff like put testers on or anything like that. They can show you swatches of different, cause I have different foundations and concealers in here. But yeah, you don't get to do that. So the process took a little bit longer, but I mean, it was kind of nice. I mean, whatever. But she definitely got me hooked on some other things. And she's like, you're a package girl, aren't you? Because you just are like, I want that because it's pretty. And you're not wrong. So anyways, this is really, really pretty. I love the rose gold cap. Love the clear bottle. Um, let's see, what's it say? It says no melting. I should have had that for this morning's photo shoot because, oh my gosh, I melted. And then it says no fading, no creasy. Re no creasy? No greasing. And we'll just have to give it a test and see if it actually works better than the Mac Fix Plus. I also got some fun little goodies in here. There's actually a lot of different goodies down in here. So I'm just going to go through the gift bags as I pull them out for you. So this was a freebie um, and it's a cute, it's like a faux little leather clutch and it has like a little gold charm on there, a little tassel charm. Let's see what's inside. We have lots of little things in there. Winner, because I absolutely love this. This is like my signature scent. It's a flower balm from Victor and Rolf. This is really good though. And actually, I'm really happy that this is one of the little spritzer bottles and it's not one where you take the cap off, because I'm not gonna lie. The bad thing about these is like, they're a little big bottle. I, what the hell am I gonna do with this? You know what I mean? It's just like a, elegant floral scent it's very soft but yet strong like it gives you a like a strong presence we also have this is the moroccan oil um moroccan oil treatment for all hair types don't really know what this is i've definitely heard of this brand though before so i'll have to read a little bit more about that i don't know if i will per se really use it just because my hair is more on the fine side so i don't know Sometimes it just weighs it down. We have Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. So another uh, basically daily cleansing, little face wash. All right, we have a Urban Decay All Nighter. So this setting spray, I definitely have heard a lot of things about. It's like a cult fave, I guess. Of course, I have not tried it though, but it's long lasting makeup setting spray. This mascara, this one, I feel like no one, no one gives it a fair shot. I'm not gonna lie. This one, I actually had the sample size and I just finished it um, because I got a lot of them during the Christmas time when I bought a lot of stuff. But Damn Girl from Too Faced. This mascara is super good. I mean, it didn't, it doesn't flake. And I feel like the brush, it's similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex where it's like big on the ends and it gets skinny in the middle. I don't want to open it right now because I just opened a mascara and as soon as you open it, then they like start going bad. Um, but anyways, look it up. Damn girl, I feel like she's a pretty good one. I mean, I never had a problem with it. I liked it better than the Better Than Sex. I liked it better than Tarte ones, like the Lights Camera Lashes and the Big Ego. Like, I just think it's it's nicer. We have Anastasia of Beverly Hills. What are you though? You are Rose, Dead, Ro Dead Roses. So I'm assuming this is probably like a brownish, like neutral mauve. Oh, damn, I'm right. <laughs> So it looks like it'll be a really pretty color, actually. Um, so yeah, I've never actually tried any of her lipsticks, so we shall see how that is. I have like samples out the wazoo. There's still so many more down there. More Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Magic Cream Light. So this is lightweight miracle moisturizer sunscreen with a broad spectrum of 20 SPF. So. I have heard lots of good things about her magic cream in general, but for a day cream, I don't want it to be like heavy. So I like a thick moisturizing cream at night because that's when I usually will put my retinol on. I like to have a deep moisturizing moisturizer 
moisturizing moisturizer. That was stupid, Laura. I like to have a strong, deep, hydrating, thick moisturizer, because that sounded better. I like to have that on at night, just because you're sleeping, you don't have to worry about makeup on your face. It's just soaking into the skin to replenish and hydrate. But in the daytime, I do not, especially here with the Florida heat, I do not want a thick moisturizer because it, does, it your makeup will not set up. Like, I'll put it on, I'll do my face. Sometimes I'll notice just doing my face that it's kind of like smudgy feeling. Um, but as soon as you walk out the door, like it just, it melts away. So anyways, I'm really excited to try this. But again, with the packaging, she's gonna start to glare on me, but she's just all white with rose gold print. And, ooh, she's like heavy duty. Like this is like ceramic. Um, let's just try a little bit on the hand. So it's weird. It almost smells kind of like um, like a baby product in a sense. But then you definitely have a hint of like that sunscreen scent. So um, like I'm definitely smelling like SPF right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna be a fan of this or not. I will say that the texture of it does seem very light but I'm not loving that I can smell sunscreen. It's very faint, but I'm very picky. More Charlotte Tilbury, and this is my Holy Grail foundation. So I went with 3N, which stands for neutral. Um, but yeah, I just love it. I'm not gonna test it right now, but it's absolutely amazing. It honestly, one pump does the trick. I've talked about this before. This is the best foundation that is out on the market right now more Tatcha things for you. And this is the Silk Peony Melting Eye Cream. Oh, there's a flower on the top of the lid and I didn't even realize that at the store, probably because I couldn't touch things. Um, but look at this. I don't know if you're, oh, there you can. I just thought that was so pretty. As soon as I opened up the box, it's just like, woo. It's so pretty, that little peony. So super, super cute little jar. I mean, it's, such like a baby little jar. I absolutely love it. Like as soon as I finish this, I'm going to find something to use this for again. It's definitely more of a thick cream. And currently I am not using an eye cream, but I'm just really excited to try this. Maybe it's just that I need to drink more water. Maybe I'm just really like dehydrated and extra dry under my eyes lately, but I'm really excited to try this one out and I'll keep you guys posted on that. This is the Silk Cambrous liquid primer. Now I tried this. I actually had an order from Sephora when I got the Summer Fridays uh, lip balm. I just wanted to try that because I was hearing rave reviews, which by the way, absolutely love. It's in my summer like necessities. Go check it out. Um, but I got samples of this in the mail then and I really liked it. But again, I only had like five days worth and I just wanted to like basically test it out while I had a discount right now. So packaging for you guys, again, super sleek and chic, and I just think it's so, so pretty and girly. This is probably what I'll use for like my lighter days, or the, the putty primer is so great to blur out fine lines and your pores. So like around my nose region, words are difficult for me, guys. I'm so sorry. Around my nose region, I probably will still use like the putty primer air, like around that area and on the eye, under eyes, but then maybe this for the rest of the face where I don't need as much, but we'll see. But I wanted to try that out and see like if there's a difference, if I had a preference between the two. I have the Hourglass. This is brand, brand new. I have the Hourglass Vanish concealer. I um, have two different concealers in here. This is brand new. It's from Hourglass. I love Hourglass. Their packaging, again, is always so, so sleek. I have this in the shade called Cream or Creme. Um, but yeah, we're going to try it out. Everyone at the store was like, oh my gosh, if you use Shape Tape, you're going to want this one. If you're switching it up, this is amazing. It doesn't crease and it stays put. It locks it in. So we'll see if they lied to me or not. I also have the Born This Way from Too Faced. This is Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now, I will say that this bottle for the price point, um, 
Holy guacamole, you get a lot. So this is concealer, this is not foundation. Um, you have a lot in here. So it says conceal, contour, highlight, retouch. Um, one of my really good friends, Mackenzie, recommended this. She said that it's absolutely amazing. This is what she's been using lately instead of Shape Tape. And so I just figured I would give it a shot. I don't know which one I'm gonna like better, but here we go. I'm going to be doing some comparisons for y'all. I have another completely full goodie bag of different things in here. So came in this fun little gold zipper bag. One more Charlotte Tilbury item and it is a new bronzer from them or at least it's new for myself. Um, But I just feel like bronzers I have to walk. Oh, I did not know that this was the packaging. The one at the store was seriously just like flat rose gold like this. It was not with like this fun little fanned out design. I swear it wasn't. I feel like I would have remembered that and been like, absolutely, I need it for that reasoning. Um, because yeah, I, I don't remember seeing that, but this is gorgeous. Like again, told you, old Hollywood glam, vintage style. But this bronzer, I got it in the shade two. It's just gonna be like a nice, like natural, kind of like bronze. It's not going to be too intense. I feel like sometimes the one I got, it's actually from MAC and it's it works really nice, but I have to be light to the touch because it is a little bit on the darker side for myself. Well, that's all of it. <laughs> I told you this was a huge beauty haul from Sephora. So I hope you guys liked everything that I shared with you. I am just tired myself going through all of that. I mean, again, it could have been because I've been up since 4.30 this morning, but at the same time, I'm just looking at it here on my floor and my desk and I'm like, where am I even? I don't have space to put this said makeup because I have still too much makeup already right now that I currently use. I'll find room. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul. Let me know down below maybe what product you liked the best, maybe something that you want to try out. Maybe there's something that I showed you today that you already use and you're just like, yes, you're going to love it. Or you're like, heck no, that is stupid. Take it back. Let me know down below. If you want, I'm going to have all the things listed there as well in the description box. That way you can shop those said items. If you click the link, it's just going to take you right over to Sephora and then you can shop the products. If you do buy anything off of Sephora, then just know you're helping your girl out. I do make itsy bitsy amount of commission off of those sales, but it's always so appreciated. So thank you so, so much in advance if you do that to help me out. I love you guys for it. Other than that, give it a thumbs up if you choose. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would hit that button right there in the center. That's going to subscribe you to the channel. If you want, click the bell that's down below because that's going to notify you every single time I upload a video. There's more videos on the side. As always, watch them if you have the time. And until next time, I will see you lovelies then. So stay safe and stay healthy. Bye!